welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new to my channel welcome my name is Yessie and today I will be doing the medical assistant tag there is a youtuber her name is Ellie Young and she went ahead and tagged me in her video so I think that's awesome thank you so much for the tag I will link down her YouTube channel down below so that way you guys can check out her videos as well she did mention that we can go ahead and make up our own questions or we can also feel free to use her questions that she had posted underneath her video. In this case, I would just go ahead and be reading off the questions that she posted from my phone. So I have them right here. So if I keep looking down, you guys know why. Um, let's just get right into this video. Do you have a certificate or a degree? I actually just have a certificate. Question number two. How long did it take you to become a medical assistant? So for me, um, my program was actually scheduled for only eight months, but it took me almost 10 months to complete my program. That is only because I was working at that time part-time and I was not able to do my extra shift full-time how the school wanted me to do. So it was just very hard for me, but eventually I was able to finish those hours and I was able to graduate with the rest of my classmates, which is the most important thing. Question number three, are you credentialed and if so, through who? If not, do you want to become credentialed? I am actually not credentialed. My school did not offer this when I graduated. At that time, I didn't even know it existed. I didn't even know there was an option of being certified or not. Um, I really do want to become certified. I've been looking into it and I think it's very important because most jobs nowadays, they do ask you if you're certified or not. So yes, I really do want to be certified. Question four, do you wear Dasco's or sneakers? I actually just wear sneakers and I'll show you guys. I actually just wear these. These are super comfy. My boyfriend actually gave them to me as a Christmas gift. So thanks babe they're actually really comfortable like i said they're very light i'm able to work throughout the whole day perfectly just fine question five what is your favorite brand of scrubs i don't have a favorite brand of scrubs i actually just go to dds like on the weekends or whenever i have time and i get all my scrubs there they're pretty cheap they're like five bucks you can find some comfortable pants for eight bucks but i am gonna show you guys my favorite scrub top which is this one right here it's just a cute butterfly one this is my favorite one right here for work, I actually just wear black scrubs because um, we're only allowed to wear solid colors. We're not allowed to wear these type of patterns. The only reason why I have these um, is because I used to work with pediatrics before and I have a lot of these. So that's one of my favorite ones. Let's see what else. What is your favorite brand of Tatasco? I don't have a favorite brand, honestly, for stethoscopes, um, but I do want to get a new one. I've been researching some online. I can't remember the brand, but I really don't have a brand preference. If you guys know a good brand for a stethoscope, oh my god, I can't even pronounce it. I'm not even going to bother saying it. <laughs> if you guys know a good brand for it, go ahead and link it down below so that way I can go ahead and check them out. Question number seven. Do you prefer taking blood pressures manually or electronically? Mm, I actually prefer taking blood pressure electronically only because we are so impacted with patients before we used to take it manually and it would take up a lot of time um, because we have, where I work, we have three providers, sometimes up to four providers and it's just patient, 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 patient. And with the electronic ones, um the blood pressure is easier to take but if you ask me what's a better accurate reading i would definitely do manually but i believe we just switched because our patient flow is just crazy let's see what's the next question eight question eight what do you always keep in your scrub pockets mm, okay so what i keep in my scrub pockets is literally my chapstick I need chapstick. My lips get chapped all the time. It's so freaking cold in there. I always wear a sweater. I never take my sweater off. It's freezing, literally like Antarctica. I also just carry a piece of gum, you know. Obviously, I'm not chewing gum when I'm talking to the patients, but you know, it's always important to have gum. I usually wear my hair down or up sometimes when I go to work. So I usually always like to have a clip just in case, um, 
I start getting hot because I'm running around. I always like to have it just in case, like I said, so I can put my hair up. Number nine, is there a certain task you really enjoy doing that is part of your job? I honestly like to do everything. I love to learn new things, but one of my favorite tasks is um, doing hydrogen breath testing. If you guys don't know what that is, um, I did make a whole video about it, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I will also link it down below, and it's pretty interesting if you guys take a look at it. Number 10, is there a particular specialty you enjoy? Oh my goodness. <sighs> mm, let me see. I have worked for family medicine. I've even worked for an oral surgeon before. I have worked, um, what else? So I have had quite a few jobs, but to be honest, I love family medicine. It is my favorite only because everything that I learned in school, I literally am able to apply it to that type of specialty. So yeah, that's my favorite one. Question number 11. What made you decide you wanted to become a medical assistant? So basically, I've always wanted to be in the medical fields ever since I want to I wanna say in middle school. Um, I just didn't know where to start after high school. I wanted to work in the medical field. I just didn't know how to start, like I said. I ended up doing my own research and I found that a good way to get into this field was to start off by doing the medical assisting program. So I went ahead and I spoke to my parents and then let them know that I really wanted to do this program. That way I can go ahead and step foot into the, into the medical field and they agreed. We went to go check out the school. We had an appointment with that admissions and I enrolled. And I just feel like the only reason I want to do it is because... Um, like I said, I always wanted to be in the medical field ever since I was in middle school. And there's a lot of people that are sick and are in need. So I want to be part of a group where I'm able to help others. So that's the reason why. Question number 12. It says, do you want to go back to school to become a nurse? I'm actually already attending a community college. I'm finishing up all my prereqs and after I'm done, I want to see if I'm able to apply to a nursing program to see if I'm able to get in. I've been doing a lot of research ever since I started school and I did notice that there's a lot of schools here in California that have a waiting list to get into the program or they go by lottery. If that's the case, I've also checked out private colleges where they offer the registered nursing program with the BSN. It is so expensive, it's like over 100k and I think that's a lot of money. I know nursing can get really expensive but I'm the type of person that likes opening my options and checking out other schools. If you guys don't know, I actually did take a road trip with my family to the state of Oregon to go ahead and check out a nursing school that I really wanted to see. You guys can go ahead and watch that, I made a whole video about that. Um, I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys want to check it out, if you guys are interested and I talk about how my experience was but yes the answer is I definitely do want to become a nurse that is one of my goals so that is all the questions thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave these questions down below I'll be happy to answer them and before I end this video I did want to tag two other medical assistants and their names are Frankly Living and Sandy C. I have tagged you guys. Um, I hope you guys do the medical assisting tag just to keep it going. I will go ahead and link their channels down below so you guys can also check out their videos. And I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. I literally had lipstick during this whole ass video. Oh my gosh. I was just looking through my clips and I literally had lipstick. Are you serious right now? Before I started this video, I like literally made sure I didn't have any and it turns out I had some throughout the whole video. So my bad, just ignore the fact that I have freaking lipstick on my teeth. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.